ang goal kasi ng company is to change the old style ng internship program sa Pilipinas. Some of the seniors na na-experience nila, nag-photocopy lang, nag-stapler lang, nagbutas lang ng cheque. So we don't want that. And I believe kayo din, as aspiring interns, naghahanap din kayo ng right company na perfect para sa inyo. I see internship as an opportunity for us students to experience practical working, um, explore career development, learning new skills, and of course, gaining knowledge in a field related to what we plan or desire to pursue. Spending 40 hours a week required me a whole lot of adjustment, time management, and discipline. Every day, merong morning briefing, and that's one of the best ways to start your morning, actually. Kasi masasanay talaga yung katawan mong gumising ng maaga pa sa alarm mo. WSAP taught me how to be braver and more confident. Because according to Mr. DJ Yusan again, everything is a learning experience. There's no better way of learning than through a hands-on experience. Working here helps me instill a sense of professionalism that is necessary for me to compete in the business world. Sitting on important meetings, calls, or presentation allowed me to learn about office etiquette, allowed me to learn about how you effectively communicate with others. One thing I've learned there is growth. I was able to grow as a person. I was able to test my skills, especially my leadership skills, and to enhance my communication skills. With that being said, we are not only limited to tasks at hand, but we are able to go out of a comfort zone. We are able to talk to teachers, talk to professionals, and to open our eyes in a real public. My name is TJ Yuson. I'm the founder of Wedding Suppliers Association of the Philippines Internship Program. Been feeling left behind? Does the knowledge gap hinder your success? Worry no more because Philippine Workshops is here to serve you. We provide relevant and valuable webinars, trainings, and workshops nationwide that will help you make your own opportunities happen. For more details, please visit our Facebook page.
This meeting is being recorded. A pleasant morning to everyone and welcome to Philippine Workshops in collaboration with the Human Resources Department's webinar entitled Landing on a Job, Practical Tips, and How Will You Ace Your Next Application? This event is dedicated to provide a brief knowledge and practical tips on how participants can ace their application for their chosen endeavor. Before anything else, we would like to give a few reminders to our participants before we formally begin our event. First, if possible, keep your cameras on for the entire duration of the event. Second, please keep your audio on mute unless you are asked to speak and keep your messages in the Zoom chat respectful at all times. Next, for the question and answer segment, please make sure to keep your questions respectful and relevant. All questions are to be asked through the chat feature of Zoom. And lastly, we are offering optional e-certificates to our participants. To those who wish to avail one for only 30 pesos, please fill up the evaluation form, which will be sent here in the Zoom chat and on the comments section of our Facebook live stream. Now that we're done with our house rules, let's start with an ecumenical prayer followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Let us bow our heads and put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today. May you bestow your guidance and blessings so that we can enjoy and appreciate its significance in our lives. Bless everyone who are present here today, that each one of us may be able to share our knowledge, understanding, and wisdom for your glory and honor. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We all ask of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Okay, there we have it. So before anything else, please allow me first to introduce myself. I am Zaira Salutan and I am your host for today. We'd also like to greet our participants in today's Zoom session as well as our viewers in our Facebook live stream. A wonderful morning to everyone once again. Before we start our program, I would like to call Mr. Hedrick Mendoza, the HR department head, to give his opening remarks. Everyone, let us give him a virtual round of applause. A pleasant morning to everyone. First of all, on behalf of the WSAP Human Resource Department, we would like to express our gratitude to our guest speaker, Ms. Lean Leila Kaba, for accepting our invite and being here with us. In addition to all our audience here in the Zoom meeting and also those who are watching on the Facebook Live. Lastly, to the event organizers, the Philippine Workshops and Employee Training and Development for making this event possible. The application process is crucial for a company to screen and select the best candidate for a position. Thus, applicants must be able to jot down all the key factors that will allow them to stand out among other applicants. This webinar will aid them to discover practical tips on how they can ace their future application for their chosen career. Also, in, in understanding the application process and providing tips on how they can improve ways in searching for a job. So without further ado, let us start this insightful webinar. That's all and thank you. Thank you for that, Mr. Mendoza. All right, it looks like everyone's very much ready and excited to gain new insights from today's webinar, landing on a job, practical tips, and how will you ace your next application? Now let's get to know more about our guest speaker for today. She is the CEO and co-founder of 2XU, winner of the CV Award 2021 Employer of the Year, an outsourcing company that specializes in hiring, managing, and growing remote executive assistants for solopreneurs and small business owners. She has been working from home since she was 15, published her own book at 18, became a CEO at 20, and partnered up with her boss to start 2XU Executive Services at 23, and aims to help 10,000 entrepreneurs grow remotely and 1 million Filipinos to work from home. She also has a coaching brand on YouTube where she trains virtual assistants on how to work from home. She is also an international speaker and a content creation monster who has a blog, a YouTube channel, and an upcoming book, Scale You. Without further ado, let us welcome our guest speaker for today, Ms. Lei and Lei Lakaba. Let us give her a virtual round of applause. Amazing. Thank you so much, Zara. And uh, thank you so much for all of the organizers, Philippine Workshops and Wedding Suppliers Association of the Philippines for having me here. I am super excited to go and deep dive into the world of Landing a Job 101. So thank you so much for having me. Um, good morning, Paul, Ms. Lee. Uh, before anything else, uh, how are you feeling right now knowing that we have a lot of participants who wish to learn more from you? I'm very excited. Uh, as I said, when I was invited as a speaker, this is literally why I started my whole YouTube channel and everything else was to help other people learn how to land a job. So I'm very excited. 
Okay, thank you for that, Paul Ms. Lay. And now that our guest speaker is ready to share her insights and our audience is ready to take in some new learnings and tips, let's begin with our webinar proper. Ms. Lay, you may now share your presentation, Paul. See, I can't share well. Okay, there you go. Amazing. Okay, so uh, by the way, the way that I do my presentations is I do encourage that if, if I'm going too fast, because I do go too fast when I'm talking really fast, please let me know um, in the chat. And if uh, there's anything that you need clarifications, please feel free to do so. All right, so to start off, my name is again, Lian Laila Kaba. I am, uh, one of my brand is the virtual ate. So um, a lot of what I do is really coaching people to be how to be virtual assistants and of course, um, help people get hired. So. I started working online myself in 2011. I was 15 years old. I was a ghostwriter for a lot of different authors and bloggers. So what I, that means is I would write an article and it would be published in their name. Um, and that's actually how I started um, my whole career. Currently, um, I, I founded and run 2XU, my executive assistant agency, um, where we specialize in hiring, managing, and growing executive assistants for a lot of our clients who are uh, based in Australia and in the US. And I've spoken all over Asia about outsourcing. Um, I've, spoke, I've spoken in Malaysia, I've spoken in Singapore, I've spoken in Manila and a lot of different places uh, about how to hire people and also how to be hired. So I've, I've been on both ends as being the person who helps people uh, get to know how uh, the kind of person that they need to hire for. And of course, exactly for this topic, how to get hired. And I also vlog tips on how to have an online career. I'm on YouTube, on TikTok. I do daily tips sometimes um, if I'm not sick. Um, in the last week I've been sick, so I apologize for my voice a little bit. And uh, this is definitely something that I love to do. It's something that I, I focus on a lot of making sure that I help a lot of people to uh, get to the point. And my goal in life is to help a million Filipinos be able to work from home. So today's goal is to be able to show you how to land your next job application. This is going to be the focus and then walk you guys through step by step how to be able to do that. And if you are currently uh, looking for a job, how to improve your chances of getting hired. So you are encouraged to take notes. If you have a notebook or an iPad or anything on hand, uh, please go ahead and take notes. I will be sharing these slides at the very end. So um, you don't have to you know, take screenshots unless you need to. Um, you are encouraged to also share it on social media. Feel free to tag me. That's my uh, so username right there. And again, to ask questions. Now, there's something called, before I start, uh, called the Teachability Index, which is whenever you want to succeed at anything in life, you, not, you need to have the willingness to learn and the willingness to take action. Those two are very important things to be able to succeed. You know, if you wanted to learn how to cook spaghetti, you might learn, you might have learned the step-by-step -step process from your mom, but if you're not willing to take action, you're still not going to succeed in making spaghetti. So you, might, you need to have both. And if you even have the willingness to like, yeah, I'm going to learn how to do this, um, but then you kind of just so-and-so, it's still not going to push forward. So um, if you had a, it's a multiplicative effect because if you have a 10 on learning and 10 on action, you're 100% um, going to succeed in learning. Um, if you're only a 10 on learning, but zero on action, zero, and it's only half on learning and half on action, it's still 25%, which is better than nothing. So I'm going to ask currently, is everyone here at 10 out of 10? Where are you at currently today in learning this topic? Please let me know in the chat. Are you a 90? Are you an 80? Where are you at? Are you a 10 on uh, learning or 10 or taking action? Um, like I said, I do like um, interactive on chat as I use it as an excuse usually to drink water. Hello, are you guys there? Where are you at? Are you learning? Are you ready to learn and to take action? Amazing. So I can see a bunch of 10s. Amazing. Okay. So first off, I'm going to walk you guys through the hiring process. So usually the first thing is you send an application letter, the application gets screened, you go through maybe a skills test with the people that you are applying for, you go through an initial interview and a final interview and you get hired. Now this is very similar to the same hiring process that I have in my company, where it really starts when someone sends an application letter, we get have them go through a screening, we call them up, we look at their resume, 